Athletic Coach challenge, challenge you guys in a number of settings today. Some two-point stuff, some third and short stuff. Mm -hmm. Talk about working through some of those physical settings today. Um, but I like what he does. You know, we did. I think that was the first period of the day, two point. So it just give you a chance. You know, you don't know what's gonna happen. He's always talking about setting chains. So I feel like that's gonna help my team a lot. You noticed the difference in the home lane since he's come back. Oh, definitely. You know, Marlon's committed. I mean, he he's in his book. You know, every day we had a running backs with us in the offensive line room watching film now. You know, for every once a day they come in and watch it with us. So I feel like they're taking a lot of pride in his position. Do you see anything different from him on the field? Oh yeah, I mean Marlon's one of those guys, man. I love him. He 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 makes you right as an offensive lineman. You know he got shakes and everything, but he he's good at setting up blocks for you and things like that. So you can tell when he's behind you. What, what's the most that can be gained from tomorrow? I mean, in terms of the progress that needs to be made. What's the most that can what? that can be gained from tomorrow? Um, just seeing you know who our guys are right now that we can count on, like Coach Jones just said, in a game time situation, and you know uh, getting a chance to see these young guys out there and kneeling, you know, in like a, a game time situation too. What's the what's the message coaches have sent you about tomorrow? I mean, are they looking for physicality? Or? We haven't really talked about it a lot besides what he just said just now talking to us, and he was just saying you know we're gonna get a special team scrimmage in in the morning, and we're gonna get a, a real scrimmage at night. So he just said he wants to find our guys. At this stage in your career, does going into kneeling at this point in camp is that? Yeah, I, 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 I love it because I only got seven more times. So maybe practice I can get in there, you know, I'll be happy to play in there. Is it something that at this point in camp, after you guys have been grinding for a while, it's kind of a treat to be able to go in there and show out a little bit? Um, definitely. Like I said, I only got seven more opportunities to play in there. Uh, I, I'm really looking forward to that, you know, that open open practice where the fans can come and things like that. So uh, every time you can get a kneel and a play, it's a fun time. John, they may have asked you earlier, but was today maybe the saltiest day of camp so far? It looked like it yeah. was a little, little bit of, felt like football camp almost started. Yes, sir. We we talked about not having any bad days, and today was a close one, but we kind of closed it out at the end. You know, uh, a lot of leadership stuff there, but I don't know what it was. But we got, I feel like we got it together. Man. But you said you didn't know what it was, but I mean, it seemed like from the very beginning, I mean, you had, you know, Coach Jones getting on Daniel Hood and the challenge of both sides and getting in some guys' faces, and some of the freshmen were struggling a lot. And just, they just, they just, Maybe they say the pads get a little soggy and then days like this happen. I just think it's all part of camp. You know, Coach Jones, he, he loves getting people safe and making them uncomfortable just to see how they're going to react. But I feel like our guys, like I said, reacted well towards the end of practice and stuff like that. How much of a difference? I know Kirkman's just not exactly himself right now. He's fighting through the injury. But how much of a difference when he's healthy does that make for the defense? Um, Kirk brings a lot of passion to the defense. Um, you know, he, he's a voice out there, let people know what, the, what they do and stuff like that. And he's an energy guy. You know, you see him playing with great effort, and he'll work well with his defense. I got to think the, the defensive ends on that side, you go against those guys all the time. And obviously, they've had a couple of injuries they're having to deal with now. What do you think about what's kind of left there? It seems like they still got a lot of bodies. Yeah, we got a lot of depth on the defensive line. A lot of guys, you know, that are going to get a chance. You know, like you said, Jock just got hurt on Fort Green. And, uh, but, I mean, I, I, I like going against them. I mean, it's a challenge every day going against our D-line. Like I said, they have a lot of depth, so they bring a lot of guys in. Anyone else?